everyone, welcome back to today's video. I hope you enjoyed doing some colourful flower collage with me yesterday. And we're going to do some more collage today, but using something slightly different. So I wonder if you can remember, I mentioned at the end of yesterday's video, what it was that we were going to be using today. And can you remember? Well done, we were going to be using pasta, I mentioned. So I've got some pasta here. I've also got some spaghetti. I thought maybe I would like to use some of that as well. Or I said you could use rice or another similar dried food to collage in today as well. So can you remember what I said collage meant? What are we doing when we're collaging? I wonder if you can quickly pause and have a little chat with the grown up that's with you. Well done, so collaging is when we're using lots of different materials, lots of different things, and we're sticking them on some paper and putting them all together to create something new, to make something different. And we talked a little bit about texture and how things feel and how that links in with collage as well. So we're gonna be doing some more of that today. Now let's have a look at what it is that you're going to need to join in with today's activity and I'll give you a chance to get those bits together and then we can get started. So here we go. So session two, collaging with pasta or rice. And there's some of the different things that you can make when you're collaging with pasta and rice. I really liked the face. So I think we're gonna make some faces with our pasta and our rice today. And I've got some good ideas about what we could do with them. So we're gonna have a go at doing some faces. So whilst you're getting what you need together, I want you to have a little think about the different features of your face. So you might need something that's gonna be the nose and the eyes and maybe a mouth. You might wanna add some ears on and maybe you'll want to give your person some hair. So when you're getting your bits together, think about how you're going to make the different features of your face. So there we go, you're gonna need pasta or rice or another similar food. Again, some plain paper like we used yesterday. I've ripped another page out of the scrapbook that is getting increasingly smaller, the more pages of it I take out. Um, you're gonna need some glue. I've got PVA glue today. I think that might stick a little bit better, um, but I might use my print stick a little bit as well. Or again, like I said, you can use um, Nothing, so you can use nothing to stick it down and it will be a piece of what I called transient art, which is something that's always moving and always changing. <laughs> um, and you might need a pen or a pencil because we might do a little bit of labelling our work at the end together too. So have a little pause now, go and get those bits ready and come back when you want to get started. So hopefully you've had a chance to get all your bits together by now and it's time for us to get going and start making our faces. So I'm going to tilt the camera down. Like I said yesterday, you can either watch all the way through and then go and get on with your work or we can go through the different steps together and you can sort of pause at the different points. So yeah, let's get going. So here's my paper. I'm going to have it this way up, I think, portrait because I think that will be a bit easier to have my face. So you can, if you want to, to help you, you could do the outline of your face ready. So you could draw our shapes as sort of a circle oval type shape, aren't they? You could draw that first if you wanted to, like so. And maybe that would give you sort of a better idea about where you're going to stick your pasta on. But like I said yesterday, I like to just get sticking, so I'm gonna do that. And I think for the outline of my face, I'm going to use some pasta. So this is where I've got to work out how to open the PVA glue. And this could get messy. Have I undone it? Oh, it looks like I've got to take the stopper out. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is going to get messy already, I can tell. There we go. That's gone. Right, OK. So I'm going to very carefully... I'm going to squeeze out a big sort of oval shape and that's what I'm going to stick my pasta on to make the outline of my face. I hope I'm not planning on having pasta for dinner this week because I might not have any left. 
So I imagine if you've just got like a glue stick, a print stick at home, that that would also work. So that's something that you could use. Here we go. Ooh. Got very gluey fingers. If you're sensible, you've probably put down a tablecloth or a mat or something like that on your table so it doesn't get as messy as mine. I will be scraping glue off it for the next couple of weeks, I imagine. It wasn't very sensible of me. Silly Miss Popham. There we go. So there's the outline of my face. Now, what feature could I think about first? What feature could I add on first? I think I'm gonna give them some hair first and I might use my spaghetti to add on my hair because I've got quite long hair. So I'm gonna use some pieces of spaghetti. I might break them in half because my hair's long, but it's not that long. Um, I'm gonna get some pieces of spaghetti and I'm gonna break them in half like this. Then, like I did before, I think I'm going to do some glue down here to add my hair onto and the other side as well. Okay, if you want to, you can pause here while you finish the outline of your face because that bit's really important. Okay, or you can keep watching and do it all together at the end. So, there we go, I've added a bit of glue for my hair. And then I'm going to stick down some of my spaghetti. This is going to be my hair on a good hair day when I've got up early enough to brush it and wash it and <laughs> all the other things it's hard to find time for. <laughs> there we go. I'm sticking my hair on. Okay. If you've got short hair, then you might want to use pasta, maybe to do like some spiky hair, or you might want to use the rice to do a little bit of hair. Or if you've got much longer hair than me, then you might not have to break up your spaghetti. You might be able to put it straight on because you've got lovely long hair. Or it doesn't even have to look like you. Your collage could be of somebody at home in your family. So it might look like somebody different, or you might just want to make it up and it might be somebody that you don't know. You might just want to try some different things and to get a bit creative with it. Oh, Miss Popham, you've got glue everywhere. I hope you're not making as much of a mess as I am. There we go. So I've added my hair. It's actually not the best hair day. I thought it would be a good hair day. <laughs> and it's definitely not. I've definitely had better hair days than that. So there we go. So I've added on my hair and now I need to think about some of the other features of my face. So I'm going to do my eyes next. So I'm going to do some splodges there for my eyes. And then I think I might use rice. Put some rice on there. And those are going to be my eyes. There we go. So I've got my eyes on now. What other parts of my face do I need? I'm going to need a nose. A little splodge for my nose. And I might break off a bit of pasta for my nose, because I've not got the smallest nose. But I don't think it's worthy of a whole piece of pasta. <laughs> so it's coming together. I've got my eyes and my nose, my face and my hair. And the most important thing is my lovely big smiley mouth. So I'm gonna add that on now. And I might use pasta for that, I think. Lovely big smiley mouth. I did tell you in my first video, Art is definitely not the thing that I am best at, but I do find it very fun. And I like to get creative and think of ideas and just have a bit of a laugh at myself more often than not when I'm doing something arty. <laughs> and there we go. There is my face. Hopefully you can see it quite well on the camera. So I've got my spaghetti hair. 
the outline of my face. I've got my eyes, my nose, and my mouth. <laughs> so I'm sure yours looks much, much better than mine does. And if you want to, you can have a pause now or you can have a go at making sure you've got all of the features on your face. You might add ears. I haven't really left enough room for my ears. Um, even though my ears are quite small, I might be able to add in some tiny ones there. Um, and you might have other parts that you want to add on as well. You might want to do maybe your eyebrows. Or if you've got freckles, maybe you could use little bits of rice or something. Or you might want to use a pen or a pencil to add on freckles or other features. So I'm sort of going to give you a couple of minutes now just to make sure that you're happy with your face. Add on any bits that you want to. And then maybe we'll have a look at labelling some of the different parts of our faces together just to finish off. So have a little moment now and I will see you in a second. Okay, hopefully your face is all finished now and you're happy with it. Let's just do a comparison. Oh, mine's not quite dry. So I'm gonna be really, really careful when I hold it up. Let's do a little comparison. Do we think that looks like me? <laughs> Maybe not the most like me, but it'll be close enough. So now I need to think about some of the things that I might be able to label on my face and hair is definitely one that we can sound out phonetically using our phonics so we're going to label our hair together now um depending on what time of year it is that you're watching this you might not have done the air trigraph yet which is why we're going to do it together and i will show you so let's have a look here we go so you're going to need to see the top of my paper for this because this is where my hair is and what sound am i going to need first for Hair. Well done, I'm going to need a H. There we go, there's my H. Hopefully you can see. And then the air trigraph. So a trigraph is something that's made up of three letters. Three letters are working together to make just one sound. So like digraph, you've possibly learned a couple of digraphs by now, which is when two letters work together to make one sound. This is a trigraph, which means we've got three letters that are working together. And the three letters that have made friends to make a sound are the A, an I, and an R. And they're working together to make the air sound to help me write the word hair. I might do a little arrow there, pointing to where my hair is. Like we did on our last picture, we we're going to label the materials that we've used. So spaghetti is a bit of a tricky one to write. Um, rice you could probably have a go at, but pasta we can definitely do together. So let's have a go at p -p 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 pasta. So I'm going to need a P, a. And then it is another A ah on the end of pasta. There we go. I am getting better at my upside down writing. And then I might do a little arrow to show here. I've been using the pasta. So have a little pause now. Have a go. See if you can maybe even label who's in your picture. So mine, I've drawn myself. I've drawn me. So I might write Miss Poppin and sound that out. Or I might write the tricky word me, which is an M and an E, because it's me. Or I might write Miss Popham. So you might write your name, or you might have done somebody else in your family, or it might be somebody that you don't know and you might want to make up a funny name for them. So you can have a go at that now. So just pause with me and I will see you in a moment. Okay, so after making a lot of mess, using a lot of food out of my cupboards, um, and writing some labels, I think we're finally finished with our pasta faces for today. Now, I did want to hold mine up um, to show you just to finish off so that we could just do a little comparison and see my beautiful portrait of myself. Um, but it's just made a big mess and I've got glue and pasta all over my kitchen floor now. So I'm going to keep it on the table um, and we're going to have one last little look at some of the labels I've done and maybe you can have a little think if there's anything else you could label on your picture. And then we'll talk about what you're going to need to join in with tomorrow's activity. So let's have a little look. 
So here is my beautiful finished face. Um, I've written pasta, that I've used spaghetti, I wrote that down here. I've labeled my mouth, my nose and my eyes um, and everything else we did together. We labeled our hair and I labeled it and said that it was me as well. So hopefully you will find somewhere lovely in your house to display your beautiful pasta art. I don't know if you can see, I've got my flower collage displayed in my kitchen from yesterday. And when this is dry, I'll find a nice home for this as well. Now tomorrow we are going to be collaging with bits of photographs or newspapers or cuttings out from a magazine. Um, so you might have maybe something at home, maybe an old sort of clothing catalogue or something. Ask your grown-ups at home if they've got an old newspaper or something you can use to cut out ready for tomorrow's session. I had an old CBeebies magazine that I've used, so you'll probably recognise some of the characters as I'm making my picture with my magazine tomorrow. Have a lovely rest of the day, whatever you're doing, and I look forward to seeing you then. Bye.